Royston Cave. The bell-shaped Royston Cave, located beneath the bustling streets of Royston, England, is an artificial and man-made wonder. Within its confines are some of the most unique ancient carvings historians have ever laid eyes on, as well as one of the most enduring mysteries relating to the Crusades. This protected ancient monument is believed to have been a secret meeting place for the Knights Templar, a medieval Catholic military order that emerged in the 12th century. These warrior monks protected pilgrims venturing through the treacherous paths to the Holy Land during the time of the Crusades. Though disbanded by the Pope in 1312, evidence of Templar settlements near Royston supports the leading theory that they might have been responsible for the cave's creation. The cave was lost for centuries, until it was rediscovered in 1742 by a market worker. While making repairs, he noticed an unusual millstone embedded in the ground. After digging around the stone, he managed to unearth it, revealing a hidden shaft leading down into the earth. Below, a chamber laden with dirt and debris awaited. It was unmistakably ancient and crafted by human hands. An excavation soon commenced, driven by dreams of buried riches. However, the first explorers were met not with tangible treasures, but with intricate carvings and sculptures. The cave also housed an octagonal step platform, thought to have been a place for prayerful kneeling. Analyses of the carvings, believed to have been made in the mid-1300s, revealed mainly religious iconography, as well as holes that were likely bored into the walls to hold lamps or candles. The carvings are unusual in their intricacy, and comparable only to those found outside of Britain. To this day, the Templar connection remains unverified. Some argue against this theory, pointing to carvings of figures in full plate armor, a style not adopted until roughly a century after the Templar's dissolution. Alternate theories suggest the cave might have served as a storehouse or even a Neolithic flint mine. Neither of the alternative theories explains the carvings found within Royston Cave, and its true purpose may never be confirmed. Before we delve deeper, I want to tell you about a mistake I recently made and how the sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money, helped me fix it and save some money. As you know, I'm someone who's passionate about documentaries, and I've subscribed to just about every streamer I can find. Recently, I was in a rush to watch a documentary related to an upcoming video, and I accidentally subscribed to the same streaming service twice through two different accounts. Thanks to Rocket Money, an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less, I caught this mistake before I could be billed for another month. After I signed up for Rocket Money, it immediately went to work, allowing me to identify and cancel the duplicate subscription with just a tap, along with a few other unwanted subscriptions I forgot I was paying for. It looks just like this example on screen, and was just as easy. I wanted to see where else Rocket Money could help me save, so I also used its Lower Your Bills feature to negotiate a lower price for my internet bill by simply uploading a photo of my bill and pushing a button. I use a ton of data to research and make videos, so it's great that I was able to save some money on a critical part of my process. But Rocket Money isn't just about saving on bills and subscriptions. It provides a holistic view of your finances. You can set up budgets, monitor your credit score, and even get insights about your net worth. So, if you want to save more and spend less, download Rocket Money today and unlock even more features with premium. Simply go to rocketmoney.com slash dark5 or click the link in the video description. And thanks again to Rocket Money for supporting Dark 5. Akko Treasure Tunnels The ancient city of Akko, located in modern-day Israel, is a treasure trove of mysteries with great historical significance. Over the years, it has continuously revealed its secrets to curious archaeologists. However, one real treasure has eluded them all, the legendary gold hoard of the Knights Templar that is said to be hidden beneath Akko's ancient streets. In 1994, a local plumber trying to unblock a sewage pipe under a house inadvertently unearthed one of the most significant crusade-related discoveries ever, and the biggest clue yet to the location of the Templar gold, a massive 150-meter-long tunnel. This underground passage stretched down from the Templar's fortress in the west to the bustling city's port in the east, acting as a covert route ensuring their activities remained shrouded in secrecy. The base of the tunnel was chiseled from the natural bedrock, while its roof features a semi-barrel dome constructed from carefully hewn stone. Archaeologists were brought in to excavate this incredible find, 
uncovering a larger system of tunnels beneath the city and shedding some light on the inner workings of the Knights Templar and their mysterious operations in Israel. Through modern LiDAR technology, a network of underground structures was revealed and mapped. The tunnels are now known to have been central to the Knights Templar during the Third Crusade. Ancient records suggest that almost a thousand years ago, the Templars utilized these treasure tunnels to discreetly move vast quantities of gold to be safeguarded in an impenetrable treasure tower. Though frequently mentioned in historical texts, this tower's precise location remains a compelling mystery. Beyond the tunnels, archaeologists revealed remnants of a Templar fortress strategically positioned at the tunnel's western end. Two formidable towers guarded the stronghold's entrance, protected by 28-foot-thick walls. Flanking these main structures were two lesser towers, each topped by a golden lion. These, however, were not found to contain any treasure. Will subsequent excavations unveil the legendary treasure tower? Could it indeed be the resting place of the fabled hordes of Templar gold? The future may yet hold the answers. Temple Church The Knights Templar was central to the Crusades. A religious order, but also a military force to be reckoned with, they spread the word of God and waged their holy war by whatever means necessary. These mighty warrior monks, occasionally known as the Poor Fellow Soldiers of Christ and the Order of Solomon's Temple, made their home on London's Fleet Street at the Temple Church, which was officially consecrated on February 10, 1185. The Temple Church, however, was not simply a base of operations for the highly influential Knights Templar. It's also the birthplace of modern banking as we know it. Following the First Crusade, around the end of the 11th century, Europeans began making holy pilgrimages to Jerusalem along a route that had been secured and made safe for them by the Knights Templar. Previously, the journey would typically have taken around two months, every step fraught with peril. By allowing journeying pilgrims to deposit their funds in England, the Temple Church, and withdraw them in Jerusalem, the Knights Templar created a financial system that remains to this day, while protecting individuals from robbery on the road. Rather than carrying all their gold, pilgrims could carry only what they needed for the journey, along with a letter of credit, enabling them to withdraw funds in Jerusalem. Before the provision of this service to British pilgrims, it was simply accepted that they would be at the mercy of robbers. With the journey made safer, more were encouraged to visit the site of Christ's death and resurrection, thus spreading the word of God and assisting the Knights Templar in accomplishing their missionary work. Similar temples spread throughout Europe, essentially building a banking network. The legacy of the Temple Church is monumental, laying the foundations for a monetary system that stands strong today. The Templars would fall out of favor with the Church and the monarchy in the early 14th century, in large part due to the debts owed to them by King Philip IV of France and his desire to consolidate power. On Friday, October 13, 1307, many Templars, including their last Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, were arrested. The order was eventually disbanded, and their properties, including the Temple Church, were confiscated. Mount of Temptation Perched atop a sandstone mount overlooking the Palestinian city of Jericho stands the Monastery of Temptation, a site revered by the Greek Orthodox Church Parts of this monastery date back to the 6th century and hold profound biblical significance for many. Legend has it that this very location housed the cave where Christ, during his 40 days and nights of meditation, faced temptations from Satan. The scriptures recount how Christ was tempted with food to alleviate his hunger, challenged to test God's will, and tantalizingly offered dominion over all the world's kingdoms. In the millennia since Christ's time, the monastery has evolved considerably. The First Crusade in the 11th century disrupted the region's relative peace among Christians, Jews, and Muslims. The Crusaders added to the monastery's existing structure, bringing Catholic architecture to the Mount of Temptation. Determined to safeguard their new stronghold, the Crusaders mandated that no fewer than ten knights be stationed there at all times. These knights stood vigilant, ready to fend off threats from bandits, Bedouins, and competing religious groups. During this period, the Knights Templar constructed a fortification on the mount. This structure, designed as a storage hub for supplies and weaponry, was strategically positioned to defend the surrounding area from its vantage point. But the Crusader era was fleeting. 
By 1187, they relinquished their hold on the Legion, leaving the monastery in the hands of the Ayyubid dynasty from Egypt. Despite the site's significance to those whose beliefs are informed by the Bible, today, the Mount and its monastery are tourist attractions, featuring a souvenir shop, a cafe, and a restaurant. Masyaf Castle While the Knights Templar were renowned for their proficiency in battle, they were not the only martial order of note. In Syria stands a heavily fortified stronghold known as Masyaf Castle, which was once the base of operations for the infamous Order of Assassins. Renowned for their skills in espionage and assassination, the Order of Assassins was also known as the Hashashins. The Order of Assassins captured Masyaf Castle in 1141, transforming it into their operations center. Recent excavations have uncovered a secret escape passage, advanced rainwater collection systems, and other anti-siege facilities that would make it defensible for an extended period. The assassins became infamous for their covert operations, which involved eliminating high-profile leaders of both their Muslim adversaries and Christian crusaders. One of their most notable attempts was on King Edward I, then Lord Edward, during the Ninth Crusade. An assassin, believed to have been dispatched by the Mamluk Sultan Baybars, despite a called truce, infiltrated Edward's chamber and attacked him with a poison knife. Edward only narrowly escaped with his life. While the assassins utilized various methods, they preferred nerve poisons. These toxins were often applied to knives and sometimes even arrows. Their reach was such that many significant political figures, including high-ranking members of the Knights Templar, met their end at their hands, causing crusaders to deeply fear them. Saladin, a legendary Muslim commander, once experienced the Hashashin psychological warfare firsthand. During a siege of Masyaf Castle, he found a poisoned cake and a chilling note in his tent. It warned, quote, you are in our power. Recognizing the implicit threat, Saladin promptly brokered peace with Sinan, the assassin leader. By 1275, the Order of Assassins was no more, but Masyaf Castle stands strong today, and their reputation lives on. The word assassination is derived from the Persian term Hashashins and remains part of the popular lexicon. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the past? Subscribe now to Dark Five's brand new Ancient Mysteries channel and embark on a journey to uncover the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring mysteries of ancient times. Leave a comment if there are any ancient mysteries you want us to explore in upcoming videos.